Thank you to everybody uh, supporting this event today, because uh, it is something that needs immediate action. Uh, just want to let you know that uh, I have, uh, I'm thinking at this level, we really need to do something about ourselves, because the government has had long enough. So uh, I'd just like you to introduce to you a mate of mine. Website 
which supports Woody's family and mates, plus donating vans, uh, donating 50% uh, of funds raised to buy vans, plus purchase or lease a house and workshop for sec second-hand mobile vans to be checked, restored and fitted out to give for free to people most affected by this. As the government calls it a train wreck, and now I've heard that personally from the government, and we believe we have to do something about this ourselves to help the growing population of young and old homeless people and families in Australia. Uh, we will also be recording giving each homeless person a van on our YouTube channel. So if we give up, when we give out the vans, we'll be recording uh, that van going to a homeless person. Uh, which I think is quite important because there's the proof that we're doing what we said we were going to do. Uh, so I've got some titles here and I'd just quickly like to go through them. The first one is shelter. Our opinion is the government needs to fast track legislation to give homeless people places to at least ten, uh, with no reprisals from the powers that be. Or at least declare a state of emergency and set up a tent city while they are deciding on how to put people in homes or units with bedding, hot showers, cooking and heating facilities for this coming winter. Sustenance. With the cost of living increasing and most homeless people having to purchase daily items at high prices as they don't have refrigeration to keep items fresh or are subject to using outside facilities in all weather conditions or too many takeaways. This has an impact on their health because of poor facilities and nutrition. Next one, next one is security and safety. If you have tried to sleep on the streets, your daily welfare is a continual thought, as there are no four walls and a lock of the door to protect yourself or your belongings. Plus the vehicle noise level is right next to your ear. And your best defense is to have other homeless friends to get advice from or hide somewhere like a wild animal or without the conditions animals have to sleep where they like. Last one, self-belief. Depending on the individual and the time they have been homeless and also the way other house dwellers react to them, this can impact on their mind to an extent that they can become antisocial to so-called normal society. Of course, some people impact this further by using prohibited drugs to escape their environment and this can also lead to other problems. So in closing, three homeless mobile vans. William Skip aren't saying we have all the answers. They're not saying that. But if you would like to support our Van for our fundraiser with a digital homeless farm print through our website, we have other homeless friends and skills to help fix, restore and fit out the van we purchase the basic facilities they will need for data use, plus the recipient can decide which location is best to care at, at in the city or country areas in their mobile home. It's a positive hand up off the street with shelter, sustenance, security, safety and happiness in their life. So that's it. Um, there are my thoughts. There's plenty more information and uh, just being here today I've heard other aspects of it. Uh, what I'd like to do now is just hand out some leaflets because we've got a shout out um, on the back of the, of the page. Um, so if you would like to uh, be involved in that, uh, just come forward and we'll give you a leaflet each. Thank you.